work in the mirror Man, you're so dirty Yeah, you look so dirty You were never worthy Lately, it's you Welcome to the Jeremy Hill Show. If you're easily triggered, leave now because this is not the show for you. Decided to go ahead and drop another video today. I came across something when I was just chilling. Man, I want to go ahead and talk about some of the brokenness and the traumatized women that we are experiencing. And I want to try to show y'all gentlemen out there why we are having so much difficulty with the women today. A lot of these women are traumatized and it begins at home. A lot of these daughters that we see are into it with their mothers and their mothers are so adversarial to their daughters and the daughters are so adversarial to the mothers that you wouldn't even recognize that they were both parent and child. You wouldn't even do it, all right? So we're gonna get into it. I'm gonna break it down. I wanna show you a woman who is the mother who never took the time to heal herself from the past traumas that she had brought into her own life or was victim of. She's so lost in her own personal pains and issues that she is failing to heal her daughter's issues okay so let's get to it hold on for one second as i get on your screen you dig it where is it at right here all right y'all let's always say let's get it my mama listens but she don't hear okay give me an example please like i told her like hey mom i got violated and stuff like that Mm-hmm. in so January sorry. So sorry. and she lit a cigarette and was like okay and then she didn't say nothing and I got up now she told her mother that someone forced her forced their bodies on her without her permission and you know what that means okay someone forced intercourse on her daughter right she went to the one person that she should feel safe with she went to the one person that she felt that she could share this hurt with hoping to be consoled by her mother which is a natural feeling from a young boy or young girl towards their parent but the mother brushed it off and we're going to see why she brushed it off it is also because and i'll give you a spoiler alert is because she has not fixed herself she has not sought therapy for her own personal traumas so gentlemen when you meet young women and it's a nice looking young woman When you meet younger women, middle-aged women, older women who cannot seem to get it together, who cannot seem to be feminine, who cannot seem to open up and trust, it's because they have been hurt. And it's not always because of relationships, intimate partner relationships that they chose to be involved with. Most times it's because they have been disappointed, they have been hurt, they have been let down by the one that they call mother. Got up and I walked off. What was going through your mind at that moment? I was molested when I was younger. This is a triggering conversation for me. One thing I will not do is sit here and be ridiculed by my own child who knows I will go to the ends of the earth for you. You know it. Mama, no, I didn't listen. Say, no, you said you I didn't, didn't say your piece. Now listen to me. And the reasons why I didn't say nothing, because you know this already. If you felt like you needed more help, I'm not the one to help you with it because I, I ain't done with my own healing. And you know this. This is not something I hear from you. So if you needed that healing, what you should have did was got yourself some doggone professional help or reached out to me and said, I need professional help. So how the hell am I supposed to help you if I can't help myself? Bingo. Bingo. I hope y'all see the point that I'm trying to make. A lot of these women mothers are so destroyed inwardly. Their spirits have been crushed. Their souls have been destroyed, obliterated. They have not sought out professional help. They are carrying around abuse that they have went through for years and years that happened years and years ago. So with this fragile, fragmented, fragmented mind, they decide to birth another human being into this world, which is ludicrous, which is lunacy. A woman who has been touched inappropriately, a woman who has went through any type of abuse from an intimate partner, from a family member, from an uncle or whatever it may be, you should not be entering into relationships when you're not healthy mentally. You should not enter into relationships when you have not healed yourself. You should not enter into relationships if you have not taken the time to better yourself as a human being because all you're doing is hurting other people when people who unfortunately like her daughter was forced upon by somebody 
she's hurting. Now you are unable to help her with her hurt because you have not addressed the hurt that you got. Now, it is horrible that you would that you went through that. As if I've said, excuse me, as I've said before in the past, when it comes to trauma, regardless if you asked for it, regardless if you put yourself in a situation to where it came to you, if someone forces a trauma upon you, such as forcing their body upon your body, you did not ask for that. But unfortunately, you are responsible for it. Now you are obligated to put yourself to the necessary steps to try to heal it, to try to get past it as best as you can. Even though you didn't ask for it, even though you didn't bring it upon yourself willingly, unfortunately, you must be responsible for it. And I know it's easier said than done, but in order for you to move on, and most importantly, in order for you to help rear a child or raise the next generation of woman that one day will be somebody's wife. It is your responsibility to heal yourself so that they can have a stable house and have a stable mentality. So when they meet a good man, he won't struggle with her and he won't run from her. So some of the burden of women acting so animalistic, like mustard back helpers, it is due in part to their mothers or grandmothers or both who have not taken the necessary steps to heal themselves. Do you dig what I'm saying? Now, let me go ahead and, um, yeah, it's, it's terrible, man. Let me show you something else. I'm not done. See, another thing, you want to know why these women are so disrespectful. It's because they are allowed to be disrespectful in the household with their own moms. Let me go ahead and prove that to you very disrespectful yes i am you don't know how to talk to me as a child i'm your mother you're not my mother you're at the age of 18 that makes you part ways grown not all the way grown as long right. as you in my house there are rules to but follow I barely in my house as long as you're in my house you see how she is she already said mama said you're very disrespectful yeah i am and she said i barely f and b in the house see if a woman has nowhere in their life, no one in their life when they grow up that they respect, it is impossible for them to respect other people once they reach adulthood. They will not be able to respect their supervisor. They will not be able to respect the policeman, the fireman, any type of form or anyone who is in a position of authority. That means if she cannot respect authority, that means she would not be able to respect the authority of a husband, the authority of a man who's trying to lead her, the authority of a man who's trying to protect her, the authority of a man who's trying to provide her, etc., cetera, et cetera. You get what I'm saying here? If a child is not taught to be respectful, they will not really learn that as they get older. Unless something comes into their life that is so traumatizing that they must learn how. As For example, if they go to prison, if they go to jail, if they nearly lose their life in some type of shenanigans, then they might want to learn how to respect people. Okay? Until then, they won't. This redhead woman, young lady, is not going to respect you, gentlemen. Now, she will show more respect let me say it like this for, without, sound, without trying to sound like I'm contradicting myself. Excuse me. Now, she will have a certain respect for a bomb, a pookie, Ray Ray, or Nook Nook. Why? Because these type of women tend to respect men who are not going to be on a higher level than them. Because pookie, Ray Ray, and Nook Nook, the bombs, tend to have the same type of brokenness that they have. They come from broken families. They come from a household where mothers reared them who also had their own problems. Sometimes they come from mothers who were on substance. They were substance abusers. They have their own brokenness that they can't get past. And because of that, they cannot reach for a higher level. They do not strive to be on the apex of society. They are just comfortable working down here on the lower level, the lower vibrational level. And when she get with that, she'll respect that. Why? Because she can see herself in him. She can identify herself with his brokenness because she is also broken. But if she get a man who is not like that, she will disrespect him. She will get to where she will resent him because he is reaching his goals. He's making plans and he will try to implement structure and she will be opposed to structure. Why? Because when she grew up, she never had structure to begin with. Everybody in the house was arguing. Everybody in the house was fighting. 
You get what I'm saying? Everybody in the house was acting like wild barbarians and baboons. And every time they try to, how can I say it? Every time they try to reach a solution, it always came with profanity. It always came with loud voices, voices being raised. It always was arguing. They never found ways to have a peaceful solution for anything. Everything was solved with violence or disrespect or loud talk. So this is why you will find it very difficult today with modern women to date them. House, I barely be there in the house. There are rules in my house. You don't let me in the house when you're there. Okay. When, yes, okay. I put you out, and it's the reason for me putting you out. You use profanity towards me. Mm -hmm. You don't know how to talk to me. Not only that, and don't you, you do have that to me on the regular though? You have on the regular, not just when we're arguing, when we're going through it. On you a regular, have manic you behaviors to where you destroy property, mm -hmm. baby. I'm old school raised. You understand me? Old school. I could stand up now. If my mama look at me, she could line me up with her eyes, and me and my sister get in line. You do not do that. Mm. Yep. The question should be asked, where are the fathers? A lot of these women are bringing these type of children into the world without the discipline or the direction of a good man father. Most women tend, if you notice or not, most women tend to get pregnant by bombs. Let's just keep it real. I know you don't like when Mr. Hell keep it real, but I'm going to keep it real anyway. A lot of you women have children with losers, with bombs with people who can't get their lives straight. Now, I've been locked up several times. I'm not talking about people who've been in jail, been in prison, and then changed their lives. I'm talking about the people who keep going back, going back, going back, and they can never get out that rut, okay? You choose to get your womb skidded in by losers, by men who cannot control their impulses, by men who are violent, by men who are abusive, by men who can't stay free because they keep doing something stupid that gets their freedom taken from them. You choose to sleep with these men and get these babies, and then when you bring these babies into this world, these babies of innocence, you corrupt them. You put them down. You mold their minds. You make them think that they're supposed to be adversarial to every man that comes across their path because you're not happy with yourself because you're miserable that's why and you're making it hard for the next generation you making to where these women are undesirable as they grow up as they age because they are mimicking your ass hey and that's just my humble opinion for watching so, I, only got, I don't even got a half a tank of gas and you telling me when the f you want to go if this only gas I got to get us back to where we live at Oh, who's gonna stay down here? Cause you you want to stay down here. You, what you want to do down here? Got you don't got no job. I don't listen to you. Where is where we gonna sleep at down here? Yeah. If our shelter all the way forty five minutes away, it's not up to you. You're not grown. Once again, we what had, I say you do. We had everywhere to sleep. She got friends, family. Who want to keep sleeping? There? I'm already sleeping else. in the shelter. I don't even want to be at. Who want to keep sleeping by, uh, by other people's houses? I don't even want to be at the shelter. My name's so bad with evictions, I can't even find a house with 1500 behind my name. I've always tell you gentlemen out there on this show to never get serious with a struggling woman. Now, a struggling woman is not someone who does not work. A struggling woman is someone who can barely make ends meet, someone who is barely treading water, someone who can barely keep their head above water because they are in, as I've called many times, survival mode. When a woman is functioning in survival mode, she cannot love you properly because she is stressed out. She is depressed. She is angry. She is irritable. She cannot focus on giving you all of her because she has to give the majority of us of herself to the bills, to the things that are bothering her, to the things that are plaguing her mind, plaguing her mind. You get me? So sleep with them, but don't take them serious. I know it sounds cold. It is what it is. A woman needs to come to you complete. It's not your job to complete them. A woman need to come to you whole. It is not your job to make them whole. A woman is supposed to come to you financially stable. It is not your responsibility to make them financially stable. And that's where most men fail. This is where most men, excuse me, the origin of most men heartbreaks come from because they saw a woman, they put that woman on a pedestal, they elevated her to a position in their life that she had no business being in, okay? The woman that they chose to be with was not ready 
or prepared mentally, financially, even physically to be in the position that he placed her in. So if, so if she cheats on him or she's difficult to be around or she decides it's too boring or it's just I don't like the structure she leaves because you put her in the position that she did not deserve to be in. You refuse to make her earn that position. Many men are giving women the positions that they did not earn and because of that they are suffering behind it. You get me? But a woman will make you earn the position that you are with her. Have you noticed that? He got to have six figures. He got to be over six feet tall. There's certain things she demands of you. But most men tend to think, oh, she's pretty. That's all I need. Looks do not pay bills and looks do not give you peace of mind. Attitude, character, mindsets, outlooks on life, principle, inner core values. That is what will please you when you are with the woman, not just her looks. But every man must find out what works for him and what he demands and wants. If he just go with a woman because she finds him, then it's not going to last. How many men have been out there who have had many fine women such as your boy right here, Mr. Hill, and the relationships are over? That didn't work. That didn't last. Because looks does not define character. Education. Degrees does not define or change character. Those things are only tools to get to an end, to get to a means such as your education and a woman's looks. Because a woman will use her looks to get from point A to point B. It is the character of that person, the soul of that person, that your soul is going to intertwine with in marriage or matrimony because once you get married, you are not intertwining your soul with a degree. Does that make sense? So ladies got shit mixed up. Upside down, back. Boy, just crazy as hell. Can you dig it? Let's continue. That's why we moved to Mississippi. Mississippi, I moved. I got right there. got there. Got a house. Got her in school. She want to play crazy. Get a little boyfriend. Now this is where she really going crazy at. She know we 12 hours away. It's just me and her down there. We moved. It's just me and her. Nobody else. And whoever else we done met down there. You got these people in my business. I got in Diamond Court December 5th. December 5th from Mississippi. I had to pay $3,000 to get out of jail. How long were you in there for? For six days. So she was there by herself. The police locked me up. They didn't ask if I had somebody to watch her or nothing. So that's how CPS got in. Yeah. But CPS knew she was old enough to stay at home by herself. So when I finally got out, paid the money, finally got out. So that month, September, we ain't had ain't pay rent. That's why we had to move to Mississippi too. I'm two months behind rent and the rent only 167, but I can't get a break if I gotta pay. The Did you catch that? The rent was only 167. This is one of those women on government assistance and she couldn't do the 167. Why was she going to jail? This is one, this is what's gonna happen to a lot of you women who love to be in the streets, who love to say, hey, demon time. I love to go to hookah bars and all this other shit. This is what's gonna happen to you. All that street running stuff. This is what you gonna look at her. Look at her. You young ladies, you would turn into this. This is not the all. I've met women like this in my lifetime before, too. You out for running out of those streets, thinking life is a game, thinking there's always gonna be a man to take care of you. When your looks start to run down, the men gonna go away too. Your options will dwindle. And then if you get a reputation for being a hoe, people are not going to take you seriously. All they're going to do is sleep with you. And you're going to have children or a child or children out for children. And this is where you're going to end up at struggling, crying for help, mad, irritable, in and out of jail, wrecking, messing you up, too many evictions, can't get a job. This is where you're going to be in poverty and mad at the world, mad at the men that you could have had, but because of your stupid decisions that you have made or, or, or that you're making now, it's keeping you from them. So what you have to do is listen to this strong teaching that people like myself and other content creators be throwing at your ass that you need to pay attention to because it will help you. It's not to break you because you're already broken. You can't break what's already broken. You're going to break it further. This is the healing you need. You need to see this stuff here. And all you beta males that get mad when I be talking about this type of stuff, you don't love your own community because you see this shit happen all the damn time. Then you want to jump on my shit. Talk about why you're putting our people down. You fool. I'm lifting them up by showing them their shameful behavior that can motivate them to want to change. Hopefully it's up to them. I ain't making them do anything. Hopefully it make them do something. 
But while you sitting back on your beta male butt cheeks and stuff complaining and shit, what are you doing for the community? Mississippi too. I'm two months behind rent and the rent only 167. But I can't get a break if I gotta pay these months two different bills boxes, but still make sure we eat. You gotta go to school. You need shoes and clothes. We got light gas. Man, dog, like hell no, nah, bro. I don't got no help. Like what the f do you want me to do? And you still want my ass about a hair, a shoe, a phone. And we and we struggling, bro. And she not making it no better. Yeah. <laughs> And then you want to play crazy. Yeah, I'd rather give you up and sign my rights over if this how the you want to treat me. She said, a mother said she would love to kick her daughter away. Sign her rights over just to get away from her. Now, the key word she said earlier, I'm struggling. Ain't no one trying to help me. Pay attention to what I'm telling you. Your OG is telling you, don't get seriously involved with women who are struggling financially. It will only drain you. It will pull you down. It will destroy you. And you'll become her. I'm going to tell you what happened. You'll be around a rotten person long enough. You'll start to adopt that characteristic trait. You'll start cussing more if she's cuss a whole lot. If she's um someone who does X, Y, and Z, you'll start doing X, Y, and Z. And you'll take those things into the next relationship. This is draining. And it can change you. Listen to me, man. I'm this go for the young women, too. They really do. Don't be around people that are struggling. Be nice to them, but don't get in no serious relationship with them, Jen. I'm telling you, especially the young men. It will ruin you, especially if you got your own stuff, because they're going to leech off of you. They're going to be parasitic to you. Do you hear what I'm saying to you? How does it make you feel when your mother says that? Like she wants to call attention to Um, At first, I was like, Getting sad and emotional about it, but she, as she, she my it, mama no I way. You don't treat me like mama. Tell them the truth. Tell them. Cause I'm gonna tell them. That wasn't what I said. What else you want me to do? If I know if I'm gonna come out my room, you gonna yell at me. Mm -hmm. So why would I? Got it. We don't have family time or nothing. We don't talk. We don't watch movies, TVs. We don't even. We'd probably text each other, and we'd be in the next room. What just and made we, you start crying right there? Huh? What just made you start crying right there? Because like. Now that I'm finally on this show, it's like I really get to realize how she acts. And it's like she's not even giving me a scenario of why. I don't know. What do you want your mother to understand? Um, I want her to understand that, like, I, I will be there to help. I will help every time you act. But it's like you can't just go off yelling. Do you regret having a daughter? If she was a boy, she'd probably be better. Woo! Woo! Like Ric Flair said, woo! Now, see, when you're dealing with a struggling woman, they can't even be parents. They can't even connect to a child. Want to give up the kid because it's just too hard to be around. I'll take this shit off now. Shit be irritating me sometimes but yeah when you're dealing with a struggling mother man or a struggling person man they can easily start to hate you even though they brought you into this world they become resentful because they know that they're supposed to be in a better position to provide for you but they also know that they're failing when it comes to that so they're depressed a lot of times anger or should i say a lot of times depression shows itself as anger but it looks like it's anger. But really, it's just depression expressing itself. And depression is self-hatred. It's not hatred for what's going on. When you say, oh, I'm depressed, I'm depressed. Nobody likes me. Nobody wants me. Uh -huh. It's self-hatred. So a lot of times women who are in struggle or who are in survival mode, they are struggling with self-hatred. Well, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I wasn't going to do a video because, you know, it's my birthday weekend. Now, I'll be dropping more videos this Monday, but I came across this. So, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and talk about this right here. I think y'all might enjoy this. I'm going to play one of my old outros out here. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take it easy now, you hear? Ooh.